Hey guys, this is Simply Imaginary People, Frankie, and I was asked to make a tutorial on how to get objects from 3D sites into games that have multiple textures. So as you know, Sims has one texture, that's usually a square, but can be other shapes as well, and it can't deal with multiple textures. So for this, I'm going to use the laurel crown I converted. So you can see here, the laurel crown has two groups. It has the crown group and it has the leaves group, and each of these has a texture, here we can see this one, and here we can see this one that takes up a full space. So the issue is we've got to put both textures onto one square. So first I'm going to show you something, which just... If your mesh comes as one group, you obviously need to separate the two groups that have different textures. So here... If I go into edit mode, it's now entirely one group. What I'm going to do, and you'll see that the textures overlay each other, which isn't good, is I'm going to press A to unselect it all, and then I'm going to press L, and L selects bits that belong together. So by looking at this here, I'm just going to L select the crown area. And once I've only selected the crown area, I can press P on my keyboard and say separate by selection. So now I again have two groups, one is the crown group and one is the leaf group. So I'm going to look at the textures now. Here, if I press A, I can see that the leaves take up the entire space, which sucks. And now if I look at the crown and press A, you can see they only take up the top space. So I don't need to move these, but I need to make the leaves fit in this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leaf texture and I'm going to select it all and I'm just going to move it completely off the square. This means that when I combine the two groups it won't be overlapping the crown texture. If you have more than two groups you need to move all the groups off of the square. That's the best thing to do. So I'll pretend that this is in a shitty position. Oh no wait, before you move them off the square what you need to do is you need to save this UV layout so that you know where they were originally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say UV export UV layout put this too. and say UV leaf before. Right, and now I'm going to move it off. You might need to do this with multiple groups. If I had another group, I would also have to save the UV layout before and move it off. And once you've moved all groups, except one you can leave in the middle, obviously, all groups away, what you're going to do is you're going to right-click one group, right shift, right-click the next group, and join. This means you only have one group. And now if I go into edit mode for this group, you'll see I have my leaves down here and I have my crown up here. So now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make all the bits that you have around the edge fit onto this square. So what I would advise doing is scaling, obviously this is too big to fit in that corner, scaling by an, a known size because this makes it a lot easier to combine the textures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this by 0 0.5, so by half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press S on my keyboard and then I'm going to press 0 0.5. Five, and then click. Now you can see you've got it half the size. Obviously, it's a bit too small, so I can go back, undo, Control Z, and just press S zero point seven. Nope, that's too big. So I'm going to press S zero point six. Should do. Just about fits on. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. And once you've moved all the pieces onto one UV map, scaled them all, writing down how much you scaled it. So here I'll remember 0 0.6. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to UVs, export UV layout, and then you're going to name it UV leave after. Exactly like you do with hair mashups. Now what you need to do is, I've got it open here. Let's just restart this. Now what you need to do is open Photoshop or whatever you work in.
and you need to open the before and the after UV map. Find it. Nope. Objects. The wind tunnel. Oh, no, wait. And you need to open the textures, so let me just figure out. No, nope, something else. Oh. Nope. So the two textures I have are crown color and leaves color. So I'm going to open those. So crown color and leaves color. Where is that one? Okay. And I'm also going to open UV leaf before and UV leaf after. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make sure all our pictures are the same size. So I'll check out my textures. 1024, 1024, and I know these always export as 1024, so that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my UV leaf before, and I'm going to right-click, say duplicate layer, and I'm going to duplicate it to the leaves picture. So you can see now it overlays the leaf texture. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my magic one tool, click the outside so that it selects and then go to select inverse and go back to the layer I need and press copy. And then I'm going to paste it onto my other texture. And now I'm going to press control T to transform and I'm going to say I wanted height and width are only 60% because I scaled it by 0 0.6. Super. Now I just need to figure out where it has to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the UV leaf after and I'm going to duplicate this layer to my crown color. So now I can see where the UV is. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layer with my leaf texture and I'm literally going to move the leaf texture so that it perfectly aligns with the UV map. And now I can unhide that layer and you can see I have now combined my images. And you need to do this with all the parts. So if you have multiple groups, you're going to have to get before and after of each group and merge it together, just like you do with hair mashups. Once you've combined the images, then you need you can save this. So I'll save as, just save it to desktop as a PNG for the moment, so test. To check if it all worked, you're gonna go back to Blender and you're gonna to go to Cycles Render and you can go to delete all the other materials here, go to New, click on this dot, pick image, open and open your image. And you can see that it has the perfect texture, one picture, whole image. And now you can export and continue on as you would, making it recolorable or whatever you feel like doing. So, because I was asked to help with a certain project, I will just show you this project too. So I was asked to help with this bracelet. Here we go. I can actually zoom into it. Why is it not letting me? Yeah, Blender hates me. Start a new Blender. with this bracelet. Now this bracelet comes as one group. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what texture. The first thing I'm gonna do is delete this weird ball. So I'm gonna press L to select the ball and delete it. Right, so this comes with, should look like this. 
So it has uh, four little balls that are a different color. And the textures I have are this one, which I'm going to guess is this little chain part here. And then obviously the heart part and this. So I have like four textures that I need. Now, if I'll, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate those textures. So let's select the heart with the two little bits. I'm just pressing L on my keyboard. P parent those. Then I need the little chain parts. So collect all Oh, don't want that. And then press piece on that. And then I need the little balls. So let's select the balls that I want. And again, press P to parent. So now I've got four groups. Now, if I click on a group and press A, you can see that it's just a square that fills the whole space. So I don't really need a before and after picture, uh, before picture, because obviously it just fills the entire square texture. So what I'm going to do for this one, I have four groups, is I'm going to do exactly what I did last time. I'm going to, for each group, move it away. So A, move this to the side, A, G to move it, move that one up. Again, A to select everything, B to select this area, and then G to move it. Now that I've moved them all into different corners, I can shift, right click, select all groups and say join. And then I only have one group up here. If I go to edit mode, you can see I've got my four parts here. So for this, I'm going to just press A, and because it's four squares, and obviously I have four squares, I'm going to scale it by 0.45. Seems like a good amount. And now I am just going to move each part into a corner. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to export UV layout. I'm just going to call it test again while I'm at it. Okay, and do the same thing. I'm going to open that image so I know where everything is. And then I'm going to open, oops, wrong one these textures that I got. Okay, I'm not sure where the texture is for the little heart part. I don't know if this is the texture for it, but we'll just try it. So what I'm going to do is, obviously this texture is tiny, so I'm going to scale all the textures Actually, this way I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to select that one, and I'm just going to paste it onto my UV map. Now I need to check in Blender by pressing L. Okay, so the chains are in the top right corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, hey, resize this texture to fit this square and make sure it's as perfect as I can get it. So that one's a bit too big, so... A tiny bit more. There we go. And then in Blender, check what the other groups are. So the heart is the bottom right corner. And on again. So it's this gold texture. So again, I'm just going to copy and paste this gold texture. And again, resize it to fit the UV. 
as best as I can. And then let's just give these ones a different texture while we're at it. Oops. I'm pressing Control T to go into um, transform mode so I can resize. There we go. It should fit. And I'm going to copy this texture over here because I think the rest of it needs to be gold too. Right, so once I've done that, I can hide the UV and I can save this. Now I can do the same thing and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to just cycle to render. Material, new, click the dot, image texture, open, and pick my test, go down here to texture, and see what it looks like. Best thing is to go into rendered or material. So you can see that they're now white. This is now gold and that has its chain texture so that it does kind of go back into Blender Render. Turn on the lighting so I can actually see it. It now has the textures it should have. Those little lines you can ignore, they're just seam lines, they shouldn't really show up in game. So yeah, that's kind of how you separate textures like meshing up hairs you just got to move and resize everything and then also move and resize the textures to fit hope that helped